Is there a contemplative world developing in China? Yes, there had been always a contemplative world in China. And um, even today, in a secret way, there is a contemplative world. But there's one that's public. And the contemplative world of China, the Church of China, whether it was Protestant faith or Catholic faith, and indeed the resurrection of the other faiths in China, is in my view due to one thing, the providence of God. The providence of God who manifests himself in all sorts of ways and in all sorts of forms. And I'm meeting that all the time. And one particular way was an encounter with a woman whose family had suffered a lot. She saw herself and her brothers and sisters being uh, reduced, the places they should be given in primary school, being rejected, being talked about uh, during the bad times. But notwithstanding all that, her faith developed with a devotion to the little flower and through the support of her parents and grandparents. And it has ultimately led to a situation today where she's able to open a monastery in China, an active contemplative monastery. This will be the first since 1949, and uh, she has now two young uh, people working with her, and the monastery is almost complete. And because of the situation in China, it has to be a monastery linked with a nursing home. It's not total contemplative. But this can be a place, and she wants it to be a place, where people of all faith and people of truth can come together to explore the great truths in Chinese history, whether they're secular truths or whether they're truths of the faith, and bring them to bear in the Chinese situation today that's dramatically changing from uh, what was a rural, rustic situation 35 years ago to a modern, industrial, uh, capitalist situation, even though it's not called that. It's called socialism with Chinese characteristics.